So in these next few tutorials, I'm going to go through the new sculpting tools in Cinema 4D. And uh, this is an image I found on Google. And I think it would make quite a good starting point because it's quite a simple 3D model to build. So the first thing you do before you start any kind of sculpting would be to um, build a base mesh for this 3D model. And a base mesh is basically like a very rough cage of this 3D model. And um, it really doesn't have to be very detailed and sometimes it doesn't even have to resemble um, the final product. It just basically has to have clean flowing topology. And I'm going to show you what I mean by topology. So here's an image, some examples of good topology and bad topology. If you look at this head here, this is an example of very good topology because um, the polygons are mostly quads and they're kind of, everything's flowing around the face as if it's kind of following the face muscle structure around the eyes and around the mouth. It just looks accurate and all the lines are flowing and we haven't got any kind of triangles or angons, although it's okay to use triangles and angons in some cases, but as a general rule of thumb, it's good to stick with quads. And the quad is basically a four-sided polygon, like this one here. And looking over here is an example of very bad topology. As you can see, if we look around the mouth, we can see there's absolutely no flow. Everything's just straight down and along. Uh, we've got some kind of triangulation going on here, a few triangles there triangles here and it's just generally a very bad example of building a 3D model. So I'm just going to put this to the side and bring back my image. So if I was going to create a base mesh for this model, I'd probably create an indent for the mouth and uh, I'd definitely create an extrusion for the ears. That's because um, when you're sculpting you're basically carrying out displacement mapping. If you extrude something out like that ear, you can't then extrude uh, sideways as well so let's say if we were to create a horn here using displacement mapping we couldn't then start pulling it out this way and if we did it would basically rise up uh, from the base and you'll probably grasp what I mean as we kind of go through this tutorial but for now I'm just gonna build a very quick base mesh to uh, explain better what I mean so I'm just gonna start with a cube and uh, I'm going to make it editable and I'm probably going to play back the video quite fast because this isn't a polygon modeling tutorial. I just want to get to the sculpting part pretty quickly. And I'm just going to stop the video here. So basically when you're creating a base mesh, the best tools are um, extrude and extrude inner. So for creating the mouth, I'm just going to select this polygon and I'm just going to extrude inner like that and then go to extrude and just push it back. And that's basically all the topology we need for the mouth. And then for the ear, uh, I'm going to use the same extrude inner like that. And then I'm going to extrude out the ear, whoops, like that. And you could probably even get away with that, but I'm just going to keep refining the model. And I'm just going to stop the video there. Something like this is basically all we need. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look like our reference image that much, but it's got everything we need. Basically, uh, the topology is clean. It's kind of flowing nicely. And uh, the magic basically happens in the sculpting stage. And we'll go through that in the next tutorial.